Welcome to another edition of Black and Blue. Yeah, and today's topic is uh, it, dogs. Dogs. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite dog? Boxer. All Boxer. the way. Okay. All the way. We had a bunch of Shih Tzus growing up, you know, little little guys. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, before we really uh, talk about why dogs, um, we have to kind of lay the foundation, a set the context. stage, get a little What's context. Mm -hmm. So here in our uh, small country parish in Auburn, Michigan, we've been doing uh, a way to like get churches together. We've been doing these mid-Michigan uh, Lutheran Bible studies on topics that are you know quite practical, like uh, mm -hmm. being before doing. So mm -hmm. rest mm -hmm. and the importance of rest in the Christian life. Um, also, you know, a lot of older people, you know, as they get into uh, later years in life, they think, mm -hmm. oh, you know, what can I do? I can't really make a difference. Mm -hmm. But really, the scriptures teach that uh, the golden years are really golden. Some of the most mm -hmm. fruitful opportunities for Christians. Yeah. And, uh, and and the topic we did actually this last weekend uh, was, uh, you know, kind of a kind of a tough one for a lot of people, maybe even mm -hmm. yourself. Uh, what do I do when what can I do when my loved one no longer goes to church? Mm -hmm. And so uh, that was the topic we tackled. Uh, and how'd it go? It went really well. It went really well. Because, I mean, this is, uh, we all can think of loved ones. We can list probably uh, a handful of, pe of people right off the bat who um, are no longer coming to church or are like, I don't want to have anything to do with with Jesus. Um, so it was a topic that was really important and is really important. Yeah, and it probably, it probably surprised a lot of people because really we, we talked about intercessory prayer. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's really what people expected, uh, but uh -huh. there we go. Uh, uh -huh. Maybe they were uh, expecting uh, different um, ways to invite, you know, that loved one uh, to mm -hmm. church or, you know, conversation mm -hmm. starters. But uh, we did the topic intercessory prayer, going to yeah. bat for that person. It's actually very hands-on. Uh, 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 what do you mean by that? Um, as in you're really getting to actually, uh, bring people somewhere. Yeah. To Jesus. Oh yeah. yeah absolutely. So, yes. Yes. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be the big thing today. How, how we can piggyback these people into the presence of God. So they get mm -hmm. what, from God what they, what they need. So anywho, uh, so why intercessory prayer? Well, you know, you look at the gospels and the ministry of Jesus. There are like two groups of people mm -hmm. that, uh, that go to him for help. You have the mm -hmm. first group. It's, it's pretty, pretty much the group we uh, yeah. we expect, mm -hmm. you know, the people that need help for themselves. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like blind Bart, mm -hmm. you know, he's crying out to, to Jesus as he's, mm -hmm. uh, entering Jerusalem or right before he enters, mm -hmm. enters Jerusalem, he cries out, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And, and, you know, and, 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 and there he's mm -hmm. praying, he's yes. praying. I mean, he's praying to Jesus, mm -hmm. uh, for, for, for help. For sight. Yeah. For sight. Mm -hmm. Uh, how about another example? Like the thief on the cross, when he says, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Um, he's praying for our Lord to save him. And our Lord tells him, today you will be with me in paradise. So again, he's he's praying for something that he needs. Yep. Eternal yep. life. The, the, the other group, though, is actually a, a bigger group. That way I think bigger. It, yeah, way bigger, <laughs> actually, in the Gospels that we kind of overlook. It's, uh, mm -hmm. it's the folks that go to Jesus for help, not... Not not for themselves, mm -hmm. for themselves, but for a loved one. Mm -hmm. So I mean, there are lots of examples there. Mm -hmm. You have like the friends carrying uh, the paralytic uh, mm -hmm. to uh, to Jesus, and it says in Mark's gospel that uh, uh, Jesus sees their faith. Mm -hmm. He sees the faith of the friends, and because of their faith, he he grants he grants healing, and, mm -hmm. and not just physical healing, healing, spiritual healing. Mm -hmm. He says, uh, "Your sins are forgiven." Right. Yeah. So uh, they get. More than what they bargained for. Way more than they asked for. Yeah. I mean, yeah. That, that's kind of what uh, prayer does, right? We, mm -hmm. get, we get more than we even ask for. It's like we're talking to the God of the universe who can do more than we yeah. can ever ask or imagine. And, mm -hmm. Absolutely. A any other examples? Of this? Um, well, I mean, we have one of a, a wonderful woman, a faithful woman, but she's in an unexpected place. She's in pagan land. Really? Uh, oh, entire... oh, oh, Miss Syrophoenician woman? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. You got it. Yeah, Jesus goes to Tyre and Sidon mm -hmm. in uh, Matthew chapter 15. So you can check this out for yourself if you would like some time. Mm -hmm. uh, he goes to pagan land. I mean, Tyre and Sidon, that is not Jerusalem. Mm 
Mm -hmm. uh, that is not uh, where you're going to find a lot of Jewish people. You're going to find a lot of pagan people. And that's why you have a behold uh, in this text. Behold! Unexpected alert! Yeah. Unexpected that's alert! That's what behold means. Be looky, looky! Ah, this is not something that uh, you expect. It's coming mm -hmm. out of left field. Mm -hmm. And what is that something that someone coming out of left field? Mm -hmm. Well, Miss Syrophoenician woman. Mm -hmm. And she goes to Jesus uh, really for help. Mm-hmm. Right. Not for herself, but for her daughter. Her daughter. Who has who is demon possessed. And uh And so what and what does she pray? What is her prayer? You can read it. It's yeah, right there. here it goes. Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely oppressed by a demon. And what do you think Jesus' response is? And he did not answer her a word. Uh do your prayers sometimes feel that way? <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh God, Jesus, are are you hearing me right now? Because mm -hmm. it doesn't seem like it. Mm -hmm. This is uh, the five hundredth time I've asked. Yeah. Now, now, really, to add insult to injury, not only does uh, Jesus not answer her a word, uh, the Jesus entourage, mm -hmm. the twelve disciples, think this woman is so annoying, and mm -hmm. they are saying, "Shoo, shoo, mm -hmm. go away." They're asking Jesus to do what? Send her away. Mm -hmm. She's annoying us. She's bothering us. Uh, she's bothering you, Jesus. Send her away. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. And does that actually uh, shut the woman up? No. She gets on her knees and says, Lord, have mercy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she does. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Yep. The prayer uh, that we pray, by the way. Yep. Yep. Uh -huh. And uh, now, now Jesus, uh, he, he actually says something that's kind of almost like an insult. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What does he say? And she's crying out for mercy. He says, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. And that's when she kneels, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I jumped yeah. the gun. Yeah, you oh, did jump no! the gun. Yeah. That's when she kneels, uh -huh. uh, you know, and she says, Lord, help me. Mm -hmm. And he says what? It is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. The children's bread, meaning, you know, Israel's bread. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's not it's not good to take that bread and throw it to the dogs. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and what is Jesus calling her here? She's he's calling her a dog. Yeah, basically. She's yeah. not part of the household of Israel. No, she's a Syrophoenician. She's woman. on the outs, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's when she really catches Jesus in his words, right? Yep, exactly. What does she say? She says, yes, Lord. Yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. She runs with it. She runs with being called a dog. She's fine with it. Because, she doesn't dispute it. Yeah, because uh, the crumbs are enough. Mm -hmm. What Jesus comes to do for the children of Israel is so abundant, you know, with that bleeding, dying, third day rising, that it spills over into the lives of all the sons and daughters of Adam. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It is. What Jesus does at the cross is, is, is so abundant, right? It's right. for everyone. Mm -hmm. And the crumbs are enough. She's fine with the crumbs. Mm -hmm. More than enough. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, you, you, you'll get, uh, I know, like, our little Shih Tzu's growing up, you know, they, uh, they, uh, they always, uh, they enjoy crumbs. Mm -hmm. They not complain about the crumbs. They were not like, oh, the, these crumbs, mm. they, they sniffed the crumbs, like, mm -hmm. oh, not good enough for me. Mm -hmm. No, the crumbs were way enough for our dogs. I think the same for you, right? Mm hmm Yep. And the crumbs are enough for this woman. Mm -hmm. And how does Jesus respond? He goes, oh, woman, great is your faith. She's the only woman in the Gospels, The only one, right? Only person. Only person in the Gospels. That Jesus says, great is your faith. Mm -hmm. This woman from pagan land. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You expect that, you know, from Jerusalem. Right. No, from, from pagan it. land. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yep. So mid quote. Yeah. Be it done to, for you as you desire. And her daughter was healed instantly. Yeah. She took Jesus at, her, at his word, didn't she? Mm -hmm. With that prayer. Yep. Mm -hmm. And Jesus uh, helped her daughter. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cast mm -hmm. that demon out of her mm -hmm. and healed her because of mommy's faith. Mm -hmm. Mommy could piggyback daughter right to Jesus mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and ask Jesus, help my daughter. Mm -hmm. And Jesus did. did. He did. Mm -hmm. So my dear friends, my brothers and sisters in Christ, 
we get to actually be Miss Syrophoenician Woman. Every divine service. Yep. We know where to find Jesus. It's not mm -hmm. like he plays hide and seek with us. Peekaboo oh, Jesus? No. Oh, yeah, he, he's not peekaboo Jesus. Oh, no, he's not that. We know where to find Jesus, right? The divine service. Mm -hmm. His house, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's not like uh, he's he, he's <laughs> he's not in his house. No, he's in his house mm -hmm. in words, water, bread, and wine. Uh -huh. We go to church to meet Jesus. Mm -hmm. And there's that throne of grace, isn't there? Mm-hmm. That we yep. have to approach every divine service. Mm -hmm. And there receive blessing upon blessing from not, our Lord. Yeah, not just for ourselves, but yes. for others. For others. Yes. For others. So yeah. how can we be a Miss Syrophoenician woman uh, every every divine service? Well, I mean, as we're coming to, to receive from our Lord, approaching him, I mean, we can bring along those people, those loved ones, friends, family members. Um, the spiritual lame. lame. The spiritual lame. Yeah. So, I mean, the spiritual lame might be someone who has a, a dirty conscience. Someone who's like, I've messed up so much. God doesn't want to have anything to do with me. If I walk into church, you know, I might get struck by lightning. Uh, or another group of our spiritually lame friends and family members might be someone who's just like, nope, don't want anything to do with that Christianity. Nothing with Jesus. It's all a myth. It doesn't matter. Who cares? Yeah. Um, you know, you've got those two camps, and I can think of people uh, who I love dearly in that camp. I know you can. Yeah, people in my own family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And so then we can take those, those people, those uh, dear friends and family. We can have their names. We could even write a list. Yeah, almost like, almost like going to the grocery store. Mm-hmm. We have this yeah. list of people. Yeah. Uh, and what's really beautiful about that is, yeah, you, you go to church with mommy, daddy, siblings, probably. Uh, you know, people you see, people in your own house, right? Mm -hmm. But but with this list of the spiritual lame, mm -hmm. those with, you know, a dirty conscience or uh, who have no faith, who can't actually bring themselves to Jesus, mm -hmm. with that list of the mm -hmm. spiritual lame, you get to actually piggyback those people into God's house, mm -hmm. right to the throne of grace, and you put these spiritual lame right there. At that throne of grace, at the altar, right in front of Jesus, right in front of Je right, right in front of Jesus, and mm -hmm. you ask Jesus for help. Mm -hmm. Help this person with his dirty conscience. Help this person mm -hmm. with her unbelief. Mm -hmm. Give this person faith. Mm -hmm. Fill them with your Holy Spirit. Fill them with the Holy Spirit. Yep. Yep. And our Lord Jesus, so, does he have a track record of uh, being able to do the best for his people? What, what do you think? I think that might be a yes. <laughs> it is a yes. <laughs> so do you get to go to church, though, with, with, with not just the people in your household. With this list, you get to go to church with those people. Mm -hmm. So instead of actually getting maybe upset that, you know, so-and-so is not going to church, you get to bring that person to church with you. Uh-huh. That's amazing. You get to come to church with 10, 15, 20 people. Mm -hmm. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's really hands-on. It's, yeah, it's very hands-on, yeah. <laughs> We're piggybacking a lot of people, aren't uh -huh. we? With yep. our faith in Jesus. Way more people than can fit in my yeah. car. <laughs> That's good. Yes. So uh, so any last thoughts, dear Deaconess? Oh, what a wonderful gift we have. We get to be little Jesuses. We, we get do. to We get oh, little Jesuses, yeah. little Sierra Phoenician women. Yeah. Uh, bringing our loved ones, bringing the people who can't come to church. Yeah. Um, because of, of being lame, we get to bring them to church and have Jesus go to work on them. Yes. And, I mean, what better physician than Jesus the great physician? Absolutely. Or, yep. Yep. Really good thoughts, Deaconess. Yep. Thank you, Patrick. So intercessory prayer, what a gift. Mm -hmm. And uh, just what a beautiful opportunity, as you said, to, to bring these people into God's presence and get from God what they lack. Mm -hmm. Yep. We don't have it, but God does. Yeah. And so uh, what a beautiful uh, way for us to be little Jesuses mm -hmm. who's always interceding for us 24-7, mm -hmm. going to bat for us. So we get mm -hmm. to go to bat for the people around us. Yeah. And, uh, and what great love we show by doing that. Actually, mm -hmm. there's, there's no greater love we can show, show someone mm -hmm. than by praying for that person. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. What joy. What yes. joy the gift of prayer is. Mm -hmm. So dear friends, yeah. you know, just enjoy. Just enjoy and, and just... Uh, treasure this gift of uh, intercessory prayer mm -hmm. and happy piggybacking all the spiritual lame uh, in your life to that throne of grace where they can receive grace upon 
grace. Grace, yep. Mm -hmm. By his wounds. We are healed. God bless you all. Bye. Bye-bye.